Now, if you guys are new here, my name is Jasmine. If you guys aren't new here, welcome back. So in today's video, we are doing another speed build, and we are continuing on with the Pretty Little Liars series. Now, I have done Arya, I have done Hannah, I have done Allison. Today, we are doing Mona Vanderwall. Now, um, I have told you guys a little bit about the show. If you guys don't know uh, Pretty Little Liars, like, like the show that I'm talking about, you guys could just always watch it on like HBO Max or Hulu. Um, it's seven seasons, and it's actually a pretty good show. Uh, Mona Vanderwall is... I would describe her as the evil genius. Um, she is very loyal to Hannah Marin. She's her best friend during uh, freshman year. Um she is very she's a very very loyal person now she was the nerd back in the day and she was getting bullied for it but um she eventually stepped up and now she's like a fashionista but she's also living like a double life because she's like normal in the show she's being hannah's best friend in the show um but on the other side on the flip side She's actually playing the game. She's tormenting these four girls. She's she's all over the place. But how I would describe her is an evil genius. She's always like five steps ahead of you. She always knows what you're going to do, what you're going to say, where you're going to be at, what texts are coming through your phone, whose uh, car you're in. She knows everything. Like She has literally eyes everywhere. But that is whose room we're doing today, and yeah, like I said, Mona Vanderwall. Now, her room, I looked up on Google, not Pinterest this time. I wanted the exact set. Um, so, in the show, they only showed Mona's room a couple times. And I think it was, like, during, like, season five or six that they showed her room a lot more. Um, but her room has this nice uh, wooden white trim all the way around the bottom. It's really, really pretty. And the color of the room, like, the top um, three quarters of that wall is going to be, like, the sage green. I don't know what it is about me and green lately, but it's just a beautiful color to me right now. Maybe because it's spring. I don't know. But you guys know my favorite color is, like, Aggie maroon and red. But lately, I've been loving, like, this beautiful, like, pastel green or whatnot um but this is actually the color of her room on set um now i'm basically just putting down her vanity now i found that this mirror was way too small so i actually switched it out for like a more um what would you what would you call it like a it's not this mirror it's not the vanity mirror i switched it out for like a farm chic mirror if that makes sense like it has like a nice wooden trim around the mirror um but yeah that is what her vanity is going to look like i did end up putting um a robotic uh head on top of the vanity just because like i said mona is an evil genius she's always working on something that has to deal with robotics she's doing something artistic creative um she has a pc that opens it's actually pretty nuts um but this is what the vanity looks like right now but as you guys can tell i actually took that out and i put a bigger mirror and it looks way better than what it did before um and she has the nice white pine door with the gold metal uh doorknob now with her bed her bed in the show um on set it actually is a metal bit bed frame and it's a full queen size we don't have that in the sims 4 well not with the base uh the base uh mods and with no cc so i actually just gave her a nice like i don't know what you would call it it has like a nice headboard it looks like a pillow headboard so um and the comforter the bedspread is actually pretty nice um i actually put an easel in the corner because like i said mona is very very creative i put some blank canvases uh down below now this is a robotic head i was talking about it's just like a literally a robotic head that you can um fidget with and try to make work this is her bed that's what i was talking about it's like very very chic and i kind of got the matching green uh like sofa chair situation because she does have one in the show it's not exact but it will do um i also gave her a violin um a f what do you call it a four string instrument or something like that right um 
I gave her one of those. I actually maximized it by one bracket, I think. And I gave her three shelves on each side because that's exactly what she has in the show. Now, I did give her some nail polish on her vanity desk, um, some eyeshadow, some lip liner, some perfume. And, and like on one of the drawers, you guys see a doll. I will be adding more dolls like I said, because she is obsessed with these girls. That right there, that middle doll, I would actually consider to be Mona. And then I added two more dolls. I added the Book of Mischief because she is literally always up to something. Um, I added a gift box. And there's... I like the room, right? The color scheme. But in this show, she actually has like this weird maroon pink swirl rug. And it doesn't match with anything. But I had to put down a rug just like it because I wanted to make it almost exact. Um, I did give her some greenery, so I put like two or three plants. I gave her a light switch because how are you going to turn on the lights? Um, I maximized my light switches by one bracket a piece. Um, every single time I use a light switch, um, either the white or the beige, I always maximize it by one bracket. Now I gave her her little shoe rack and I thought this was a nice um, little like decoration deal to hang up. Um, Allison, I actually did put one in her room because hers was a black trim and if you guys know then she was hiding money in the back of that poster frame. Um, but in Mona's, I just decided to do white trim because it matched with, um, obviously the white wooden trim. Now I gave her an old camera. I gave her, um, some bookshelves. I actually put like a little Paris decoration up there. I gave her that sun decoration. And this is a wonky rug I was telling you guys about. Like it literally matches, not matches. It literally does not match at all, but that's exactly what she has in the show. So I had to like give some sort of similar concept of that rug um and then i gave her some bell lights which i call it's right next to her vanity frame not vanity frame but her vanity desk i put one on each side i gave her a nice bust right there and that is like a little i don't know like a rocket mod modular do deal or something like that i put blueprints i put um some scientific awards that she has earned. I gave her this artistic drawer and I actually moved it over to the left just because it made more sense to be next to the easel and the blank canvases. I gave her a backpack because we don't have, well, I don't have any purses for her to like put anywhere like on the table, the end cap or anything like that. So I just gave her a book bag. Um, now here there's a blueprint and then like I said, um, I put the dolls and that clock I felt like really tied the room together. I did bracket that twice up. Um, and then I actually moved this lamp a little bit closer by using alt. Now I do have testing sheets true on. If you guys don't know what that is, it's basically like legal hacks <laughs> that we sim like simmers call it in Sims 4. Um, basically, you just type that into the um, control shift C bar and then you turn it on and then you can alt move anything you want. Um, I did actually give 